Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on back in. Come on back in. Come on back in. Apostle allowed me to come back. He said he wanted to cut it off so that we'll be able to save that video. I'm going to pray for some of you tonight. Um, I don't know if Apostle will be coming on to pray, but I'm going to pray for some of you. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Yes, God. Yes, God. Send your prayer request now. If I don't call it out, if I don't speak it, if I don't speak prophetically over the prayer request, let me tell you right now, you have to send it again. I want to speak over every single individual over this. I feel the prophetic anointing here tonight. I feel the prophetic word. I feel, I feel. Feel the fire of God. Yes, God. I pray for marriage restoration. I If I don't get to you, you better repeat it. I don't care if you do get tired, copy and paste it and send it again. Keep sending until I get to it. Tina, I hear the Lord. I hear the Lord say, let me do it. He said, let me do it now. Because you've tried. You've bent over backwards. You've done everything that you possibly could do. God said, now it's my turn. God said, it's my turn to do it. The best said, I break the power of witchcraft off of the mind of your husband right now. In the name of Yahweh In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name. If you got the. Don't even touch the screen because I'm afraid if you touch the screen, you'll blink off. But if you got to put your hands, you coming on the scope, you better speak English. And I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't got no room to play with nobody that's playing the night with God. Yarobo shanda seke, koko no masanda da basha. Enda de beke na na masiko do 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 basha. Every crazy spirit that's gonna come on this periscope, you gonna get cast out tonight. Whether it be by the way of the Holy Ghost or if it's gonna be by deletion and block, try it if you want to. Yeda basha na basha. But Tina, I hear the Holy Ghost saying that God's gonna break the power of witchcraft off of the mind of that man. Enda basha, ba kana ma de beke de be da ma. God said, don't limit his hand. Don't limit God. Don't limit him, woman of God. Don't you limit him. Because you praying for one thing and God may have better. Oh, I don't know about how about I don't promote divorce. But I don't push something that God ain't involved in either. Yes, Lord. In the name of the double shot. But until God speaks, what he wants to do. We'll believe in God for that marriage. That's what we're going to do with that. We're going to believe God. Woman of God, I believe God with you. I believe God with you. But I also believe that you should live life to the fullest. And I also believe that your life should be blissful. And it should be stress free in the name of Jesus. And it is so. It is so. Because woman of God, you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made. Do you understand that? No, I ain't even got to ask you that because I know you know that you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made. And the enemy going to stop playing tricks with everything that God has blessed you with. He's going to stop playing you. He's going to stop playing with you, woman of God, because in you is fire. There's a fiery anointing that rests on you heavily, woman of God. In the name of Yeshua. Come on, sing your prayer request. Well, transfer and the anointing. Yes, God. Father, anoint them with wisdom. God give them wisdom. The scripture talks about wisdom and it talks about how you must have wisdom to obtain the kind of wealth. I hear the Lord saying, I'll give you the wealth of Sheba 
or I can give you the wealth of Solomon. It's your choice. You want to get by? You want to just do enough to look good and feel good and, and let other people see you doing good? Then you'll have the anointing of Sheba. But if you want to live exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that you have ever asked or even thought, the very thing that you couldn't even fathom in your mind to have, then you ask God for the wisdom of Solomon and you watch God open doors continuously for you and your life because with with finances because with wealth transfer oh, Papa Shaky, you're the double show. I'm trying to watch what I say with wealth transfer comes a great heavy anointing of wisdom and I see the gift of wisdom God's going to give you the gift of wisdom and it's going to be so strong on you the prophetic anointing for the gift of wisdom is going to be so strong on you to where people are going to sow. That's how you're going to get it. That's where your wealth transfer is. It's in your gifts. It's in your gifts. I'm not telling you to pimp the people. No. I'm telling you, let God provide for you. You work for him. He worked for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Finances and ministry, son, deliver from perversion. We break the spirit of pornography right now in the name of Yeshua. We send the power of God to that young man and we release the wealth of God into that home, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now that her cupboards will be filled. Every person, I'm going to kill a whole bunch of birds with one stone. Everybody, if you are dealing with financial issues, I want you to type me and I got a surprise for you on how you're going to come out of that too on the end of this prayer I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do and watch God you watch God you watch God you watch God you watch God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I speak a wealth transfer put your hands up just put your hands up right there I speak a wealth transfer right now in the name of Jesus we bind the spirit of lack we bind the spirit of poverty Father, we send your power now in the name of Jesus. Father, Baba Shekhe, break the spirit of poverty now. We break the curse of Egypt off of you now. We break the spirit of bondage and the chains off of your pocketbooks, off of your bank accounts, even off of your spiritual wealth in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Die by shit. I ain't ashamed to ask. I'm not ashamed to tell you, and I'm not ashamed to ask. This is what I hear. And now I'll explain it. I hear God. I hear him. I hear the Lord. I hear a specific seed amount. If you don't have it, then guess what? If you don't have it and you can't sow it, then guess what? The prayer is still for you and guess what it's going to be a huge amount that i'm about to ask for if you sow 15 dollars i know that blew somebody's mind but if you sow 15 dollars whether it be in this ministry if it be in your home church i don't care where it is as long as the ground is fertile i'm telling you right now the spirit of bondage is going to break off your finances in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You need our information, I will give it to you at the end. But you need to prepare a $15 seed, whether it would be for Transformation Ministries, if it would be for whatever church you go to, if you go to a wow, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. Apostle Bowman said that is a priestly seed. That's a priestly seed. I have him to come back. 15 is a number that stands for the, no. the uh, collar bread. Come back up here. Come back okay. up here. I need you up the here. The name of the bread again? Collar. Collar bread. Wow. Wow. He's going to explain that. But I'm telling you, whether it be in this ministry or if it be in your home church or if you don't have a home church and you want to sow and there's someone who you know you want to sow and you know that the fertile or that the ground is fertile and that it is good, get that seed there. I'm telling you right now. Somebody said, well, I got a church. Put your seed there. Do it. Do it. 
Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. At the end, I'll give you our information if you need it. But I'm telling you, you better give it. You better give it. Because it's not so much it's in your cash, but it's a symbol of a seed. And it's going to bring back a harvest that's going to break open so big. I'm telling you, you have never seen a seed go into the ground and break open in the same day. You have never seen it. You have never seen it. But I see it right now in the realm of the spirit. I see somebody getting ready to get a job. I see somebody getting that job. You've been asking God, God. Is it time for me to work? God said for you, yes. But that somebody else is looking for a job. And you've been looking, man of God. You've been looking, you've been looking. And you want to go to work. And God said you can't work because you ain't work my ministry. You got to work the work of the ministry. I don't have a seed. I don't have any money. I don't even have two nickels to rub together. You got two hands you can rub together. Put it together and begin to pray with me. And ask God to break the spirit of bondage right now off of your finances. Because let me help you with something. Let me show you how it all works. If you broke, then you're frustrated. If you're frustrated, then you're depressed. If you're depressed. Then you stress. If you stress, your blood pressure rise. If your blood pressure rise, you at stroke level. If you have a stroke, you on your deathbed. That's why it's important that when we tell you to sow a seed, that it will break some things open so that the enemy don't kill you. My God, today. Father, deliver Jasmine from the spirit of lust right now. In the name of Jesus, we break the curse right now. We break it off of her life from her forefathers. Uh. Not from her granddaddy, but from her great, great, great grandfather I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Kelly and every unspoken request that she has laid up before you. Father, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see somebody kicking your doors in, Kelly, and it's the foot of the Lord. God's getting ready to break into your house in the realm of the spirit. God said, because you won't put it down. God said that I'm going to bombard my way into your soul because I have need of you, woman of God. Sharper discernment. Father, give them sharper discernment. Father, pray for those who are pregnant, God, who are carrying with child. Father, continue to turn around for their wife, God. Begin to pray for the anointing for that. Father, these prayer requests that are coming up before you, God. We restore the identity even now. You are who God called you to be. You are who God has said that you are. In the name of Jesus. You are a prophet of God, saith the Lord. Pray for a deeper understanding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for the word, God. Give it to Brittany, God. Give her also, watch this. Watch this. Father, also give her apostolic grace. Right now, I place it upon you. I place it upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. It is so, Brittany. It is so. Yamashaka Nabaka. Yekododobosha. I hear the Lord say, Surely you didn't think you were just a prophet. God said, I'm raising you up as an apostle, as a general in this age. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me encourage your hearts. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. We're going to continue to pray. But I want to encourage your spirit tonight. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. This is not the time to be down. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to quit. I see somebody want to quit. Apostle and I have already fought that battle today for you. You can't give up. You can't quit. I speak the breaker anointing on your life right now. In that way where you will break through. You will break through that frustration that 
that depressed, that stressed feeling in the name of Jesus. You cannot quit. You won't quit. You will not quit. You shall not quit. Because you come too far, beloved. You come too far. Yes, Lord. Dream attack from a rain spirit. I come against Lilith. Lilith, I know you very well. And we come against you now. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is against you. For there are far more with me than they be with you. And you will not torment the people tonight. You will not snatch dreams away from the prophets and the apostles on tonight. They will remember and recall every God-given dream that they shall dream tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Father, we even pray for Prophet Hackett right now for a greater anointing. Father, give it to him even now. God, give him greater wisdom. Father, give him greater knowledge and a greater revelation of who you are, God. In the name of Jesus, give him a greater double dose of the anointing. I see you. Prophet Hackett, we're going to have to give you a call. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I see someone say, I need a greater faith in suffering. Yes, Lord. I hear the Lord saying, that's not what you need. God calling you out of suffering. This is not your time to suffer. This is your time of rejoicing. God said, you trying to suffer and I'm trying to get you to rejoice. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I hope you don't mind me saying this. I rebuke suffering. Everybody need it. But this ain't the time for you to suffer. This is not the time for you to suffer. For you, it's not the time for you to suffer. I hear the Lord say, I'm trying to give you joy unspeakable. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Yes, and pray for us, please, please. I can't be on here too long because I got children. I got a son that got to be on the bus 6 a.m. in the morning. But I promise you, we're going to continue this all week long. We're going to do this all week long. We have to. This is our life. This is our life. We got to, we can't, we can't just stop. We can't just stop. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you right now for every soul. Every prayer request. Father, we thank you right now for every prayer request that is still going up. In the name of Jesus. Cover the people tonight. Cover them in their mind. Cover them in their body and their spirit, God. I see right now, somebody on here feel a cool breeze. And it's not your AC unit. But there's a cool breeze and it went kind of quick. They just came into your home. For some of you that's sitting in your bedroom on your bed, and there was a little quick breeze that you got. I hear the Lord saying that the Lord is visiting you tonight. Some things that he wants to say to you. In the name of Jesus. Apostle, you have anything else? True. Yes, Lord. Write this down. 859 Yes, I almost forgot. Just that quick. <clears throat> if you want to sow that $15 seed, for some of you it may be more. For some of you it may be less. It doesn't matter. I promise you we're not that type of preachers. We're not that kind of covering. <clears throat> you will go to paypal.com. Uh, sweetie, help me with the email address. Transformation Profit. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Transformation Profit at gmail.com. That's where you will send the seed. All lowercase. It's one word put together. Your know, transformation, T R A N S F O R M A T I O N. Profit, P R O P H E T. At gmail.com. And you sow your seed of $15. If God tell you more, 
If God tell you fourteen ninety nine, He tell you fourteen cent. Obey God. <clears throat> Obey God. Let me tell you this quick testimony. Man came into a service and raised a one hundred dollar offering, and everybody was jumping up like popcorn, giving this one hundred dollar offering. And people getting manifestation. Some folks was getting it right in the service. They were getting text messages and stuff on their phone. And things like that in the service, you know, talking about how they just got increased and all of that. I mean, all kinds of stuff. You know, people had bank notifications hitting their phones. And I said, God, I don't have $100. All I got is 10 cents. And I took that 10 cents because the Lord told me, he said, give and get in that $100 line with that 10 cent and give that 10 cent. Because in God, there is no lines. No $100 line. You really serious? And I told him, I said, sir, the Lord told me to get in this line. All I have is what I have, and I'm going to give it. He said, it don't matter. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord. And I put that 10 cent in there. And I was looking for a certain amount. And these people had already told me that I was not qualified for the amount. They said, you can't get this and. I'm sorry, I know this is your money, but we can't release that to you. And it won't come until next year. Then that next year, I think we were three months away. So they was telling me I have to wait three plus months before I can get something that belonged to me. The very next day, the day I sold that 10 cent, the very next day, I received a check in the mail from those same people. For two thousand five hundred and some odd dollars, I came back to that revival, and I sold over one hundred dollars. I sold the one hundred that he asked for for that night, and I sold even more. I can't remember exactly what I sold that second night and the third night, but I just began to sell. The next day, God blessed me with a brand new car. The next day. I was able to take care of my children's wardrobe. And guess what? I was not using the money that was given to me. That came from a 10 cent seed. It's not about what's in your hand or what's in your wallet. It's about your faith. And it's also, and when it does matter about your money, it also depends on what ground you're sowing in. You got to pay attention to that. Because some of you, you got the faith, but you've been sowing into stony ground. Because you have to discern. Now, if God telling you, you know, I need you to sow it here. Somebody on here, you may have seen somebody else commenting. And God may have spoken to you to sow the seed into them. You better contact them. If you see their name, and if God has spoken to you, you better do it. That's the kind of God we serve. Again, yes, Lord, and I ask God to do it. Debt free, I'm standing there waiting on, and he's, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I am a witness. Honey, let me tell you something. You're talking about neutralizing atmospheres. We walked into a car lot that was infested with Freemasons, and they gave us a car. When they turned everybody else down, they threw a car and the keys in our hand. They had might as well given us the title. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Go to paypal.com. The email is transformationprofit at gmail.com. God bless you. And again, I'm going I'm to put those instructions out there one more time. Somebody on here. If you see someone on here, thank you, thank you, Tim, thank you. If you see somebody on here and you want to sow into their life too, feel free to do it. You don't know. You just don't know. Now, if God did not put that in your spirit, don't do it now. Because I've also sown seeds into other people's lives and my finances dried up. So you have to use wisdom. And hear the Lord, okay? Hear God. We decree the blood, and we declare that the blood will be over every head, over every doorpost of every person that is viewing this. In the name of Jesus, and it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Shalom, beloved.